it's more Vivi's Advent Challenge. Now I've kind of got a whole bunch of bandages around my body. Uh, Fi sort of set, hooked me up with that, because, you know, the orcs are kind of falling out, and until I Fi sort out, like, a, you know, one of those potions of regeneration or potions of healing, I think my, I'm going to be stuck wearing this thing for a little while. It's like a weird body cast, and I kind of hate it, but, eh. I'm just saying, well, I can still move around without it, you know, without everything falling out, but, yeah. So let's go and see what's in, in store for us today in the form of to mail, because I would very much love to check the mail and get these days over with. Hey, Dracula? Yeah, Dracula agrees. Now let's see what the mail has to offer. Mmm, ugh, by Phoebe, very disappointed. I wonder what that could mean. The first jacket sent turncoats on me, and the second jacket's a freaking coward? Are all jacks backstabbers? Either way, here's your next clue. What's big, holds a bunch of stuff, and is home to spiders. What kind of clue is that? What's big, holds a, bu holds a bunch of stuff, and is home to spiders? I'm not sure what she's ta talking about, but I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. But what the hell? Is Jack getting chased around by Rufus? It, yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> what in the heck? Um, hey, Fi. So that's what Jack looks like. Wait, you can see him now? Every time Rufus fights Jack, he becomes slightly visible. Oh. Huh, I guess the shock of the bite must... I don't know. Freaking... What's the word? Shock him out of his... Um non-visibility thing, but god, that looks painful. But on the bright side, we're halfway done with this challenge. Oh yeah, that's true. I think this is what, the 16th episode? I think? Yeah, I think this is the 16th and we've only got, what, 31 days? I honestly don't know, but hey, did you learn anything else from that book you were reading the yesterday? Well, I did learn that there's a massive wall dividing Pyrogius and Dysonia. Sonia, huh? Oh, that must be the other country around here. Whoa, God. Okay, the fighting's getting, or the fighting's, the chasing's get come to a standstill over here. And ow, that looks painful. But uh, aside from that, uh, where did you say Sonia was exactly? It's farther up north. We'll have to check it out sometime. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we will at some point. God, that looks painful. By the way, how are the bandages holding up? Uh, surprisingly pretty good. I haven't really felt my organ slosh around too well. But, yeah, they're holding up pretty good. Good. I don't know if they'll help, but at least your organs won't fall out. Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna see what the heck Jarvis is up to over there and hopefully not attack the attention. The wrath of Rufus while those two are, like, fight- or- Fighting or as Jack's case running over there. Um, hey Jarvis. Hmm. Trick me into thinking there's explosives in the garden. Hmm. Well, two can play at that game, Jack. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess it's well, I guess it's only fair Jarvis gets to come up with come up. That was a pretty um funny but cruel trick, and I'm just gonna casually hop the fence and ignore them, if you don't mind. Yeah, hey Drag. Yeah, let's just leave let's just leave those two be to their shenanigans. And in the meantime, I I kinda wanna check on the cave. Cause I don't know, maybe now that Eyeless Jack's gone, things have cleared up. I would only hope so. Let's take a look see. Oh my. Um either the cave's been blocked off or caved in. Huh. Well that's not good. Um, oh dear, I guess their little hideout's lost, but... <sighs> that makes me wonder where the others disappeared to. I mean, I'm sure I'll find them at some point, but... It, it worries me, you know? It it really does, but... Right, let's figure out this clue, shall we? Um... Ahem. <clears throat> What's big holds a bunch of stuff and is home to spiders. Holds a bunch of stuff... I don't know... Hmm, what could hold a bunch of spiders? I mean, a spider's web could, but... I don't know. Actually, that's a good point. Um, actually, wait. No, the how how do spiders segue to mice? I don't know, but yeah, I have not seen Mouse I uh, today. I wonder where he's at. 
Not in here. Um, he could- Maybe he's in the spot where I last found him, up here in the attic, and... Huh. Well, you know, there he is. Ugh. I can chew through stone, but not this? Huh. I must have something to do with the, um, weird forces that, you know, don't allow these windows to be broken for whatever reason. But, yeah. Hang on, Mom! Dad! I'll find you! Yeah, good luck with that, Mouse. I honestly not sure if you'll be able to chew through this, even though it logically doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but... Oh shit, that is- that's a lot of cobwebs, and why am I so surprised? I saw this yesterday, and... Wait a minute. What if this is what the clue's talking about? Home of spiders? I mean, this is an attic, it's holding a bunch of crates, and there's a spider's web. I think this is what Dee Dee's talking about. There must be something behind that mess of spiders, and... Actually, this might be where my shears can actually come in handy. Not pseudo-handy, but actual proper useful handy. Or something. I don't know, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna get the shears and- God, I always confuse the freaking- Uh, what is it? The- Um, what is it? Uh, the f The f living room with the kitchen. I can- How can I forget what the living room is, anyway? I don't know, but I might as well grab the pumpkin while we're here, because why not, you know? Why not? And let's see, this should work, and oh yeah, it works, and good lord, that's a lot of string. And what's at the end of the tunnel? Nothing from the looks of it, but eh, don't be dismayed, there might be a ghost block. Huh. Well, I guess it solves that problem, um, and here's today's note from the looks of it. What do you say? 440XXA. Is that a new... Is that supposed to represent a new year? I think so. I mean, I know it wasn't... I sa said it would stop criticizing the dates, but whatever. <clears throat> Alicia found a cat in the village. We decided to keep... to let her keep it. It has a lovely gray coat. It is very well behaved for a cat. I don't like how it glares at me, however. It acts like it committed a crime against Jeb. Yeesh. That sounds like Hazel when she knows I've, I've screwed up at something, but, huh, weird. Perhaps this is me being paranoid about the Global Coven. Ever since I sent the guards out on a manhunt to find all the witches in the region, the mysterious occurrences have grown in frequency. What? What frequent- what occurrences? Hit <clears throat> him. The worst of which is what happened to my assistant. Hmm? He awoke one day to find occult imagery coating his skin. Not a trace of breaking and entering was found, and no matter how hard he tries, the imagery refuses to fade away. Wow. Talk about the ultimate permanent tattoo. I fear for our safety, but I cannot leave. Not when I'm this close to discovering a permanent cure for warp. Warp? Oh, God. <sighs> I've heard of that little whatchamajigger thingy. It it's something that happens when thaumaturges delve too deeply into magic, and sometimes it drives them a little bit cuckoo bonkers crazy. I've heard you could suffer illusions from that stuff, or I heard that the illusions can actually hurt you, and god, I just heard all sorts of bad things about warp. That's kind of why I haven't really delved into thaumaturgy that much, because let's be honest, there's no real way to get rid of warp at the moment. I mean, I've heard of ways to prevent its effects from occurring, but not to get rid of it fully. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Makes me wonder, though. Makes me wonder. But, anyway, enough wondering. Well, I've got a pumpkin to carve, and I gotta find a spot for it. And, I don't know, the, I know the living room has plenty of pumpkins in here already, but, I, actually, yeah, that looks kind of one-sided on its own. Let's find, let's give it a companion. There we go. Companion has been achieved. Um, preemptively put the light, and actually, how am I supposed- what, how am I supposed to represent this day? I know, we'll have a stick man, um, that's kind- that's the best stick man you're gonna get. And he's gonna be like that, and he's gonna do that, and he's gonna do that. There we go, we'll have a stick man. Uh, whoa, that's- that what I wanted. We'll have a stick man running- from a stick dog. Yeah, that's that's what it'll be. A stick dog. R man running from a stick dog. Uh, yeah, that looks correct. 
And, I don't know, um, we'll give it a happy little sun. A happy square sun that is looking a little bit oblivious as to what's going on. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Light and save and... Oops, I think I lit it wrong. Um, light, that's better. Now it's all lit up and... Again, it looks terrible, but... Hey, at least no one's around to criticize my work this time. Even though I kind of don't mind the criticism. You know what, I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna call it here and go lie down, because clearly... This has been a weird day, and frankly, I kind of, I'm i starting to feel the organs of my stomach shift around, and I think I need to realign them or something. God, it is so hard being un undead sometimes. You mean, you think it has all its perks, but not when your organs are constantly falling out. God, I need that potion regeneration badly. But anyway, I suppose with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad you enjoyed my content. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check out the other stuff I do on my channel, and check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram in the description below. And with all that being said, just gain such a play, because I'd love to hear from you guys. And with all that finally being said, I will see you guys next time! I really hope I find a potion of regen soon, because I swear, I swear if I wear these bandages, it's gonna make me look like a mummy.